Yo, what's going on, guys? It is Tom Archie, and we are back with another match reaction. Now, I know it is obviously the next day. Um, obviously, we won last night for the first time in 16 games since November. Unbelievable. Um, I thought I'd just let the dust settle and then record next day. Uh, now, obviously, before we get into anything, make sure you go at 8 o'clock tonight. This will be up before then. Make sure you tune in for the Char the Charleston Chronicles <laughs> um, with me, Josh, Tyler, and Nick, of course. Uh, the link will be down below to so that. So make sure you do join in um, with the conversation, the live stream, thoughts on the game, all of that good stuff. Because for once, it's a very positive live stream. Um, obviously, we do it every week, so make sure you do tune in. Obviously, go subscribe to them. All that good stuff. Now, getting into the um, game from last night. Now, I'm sure, I think everyone's kind of aware, it's kind of over all the uh, social medias, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, everything. Charlton won a game, uh, as I've said three times already, um, for the first time since November, which I think it might have been Cambridge, potentially, the last game we won. If I'm not, no, Cheltenham. I think was the last game we won in the league, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, obviously, first of all, let's get into the lineups as per usual. Harry Iston in goal, Edmonds Green, Thomas and Gillespie. I think that's how you say his name at the back. Watson, Kamara, what, uh, Coventry, uh, Anderson and Small in the uh, five in midfield, and then Carnu and Ladapo up front. Now, there's obviously two big names missing from the lineup, Alfie May and George Dobson. Um, if you're, this may be unpopular, but um, it it was probably good um, for him, for Jones to drop them. Obviously, they are fan favourites. Alfie May has scored all the goals so far this season, um, and yeah, so it's, it is a bit of a risk, which. A lot of Charlton fans have said, and I personally like uh, how how much of a risk Jones does take. Because obviously, I know he's Dobson's obviously the cap the captain, Alfie May's top goal scorer. But before the game last night, Alfie May hadn't scored in a month. George Dobson wasn't amazing against uh, Portsmouth. Obviously, I know it's top of the table, but it also gives someone else a chance to come to the team. Now, whether they're resting uh, Dobson that because obviously the yellow cards and all that good stuff, um, I, have, I have no idea. But obviously with the striker system, we have forfeit strikers, which <laughs> if, you're, if you've are if you known Charlton for a while, you you know we never have that. Uh, we normally have one uh, striker and that's it. So having four is a luxury for us. Obviously, Chuck's back may fit. Carnu on form, Ladapo finally showing his thing as well. So yeah, obviously that that, that was a lineup. Um, first half was a bit crap, I'll be honest. Um, I think Josh said in his vlog it was very boring. Nothing's happening really. Obviously they did score from a corner, very good header. Um, maybe could have we defended a better. I I don't know, but it was a good header, good cross good corner uh, and 1-0 um, that kind of got everyone going on Twitter uh, I, I for one will admit I was very um, not happy um, in conversations elsewhere uh, about it obviously I know uh, Derby are what top three um, and it was coming it was expected to happen um, because our record there uh, at Pride Park is not uh, the greatest. Um, I think every time I've been there, we've ever we've lost. I don't think I've seen us win at Pride Park. So maybe me going uh, helped us. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously that that happened. Half time came. It was all right. It was okay. It wasn't amazing, but obviously half time came, and there was obviously a lot of changes that need to be done. Uh, no subs at half time, um, but. 60th minute, Alfie May came on for Ladapo and Chooks came on for Kamara. 
hooks literally I, 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 I don't know how long it must have been about 30 seconds from him coming on he comes on and hit, hits the post or bar I think it was from across he probably should have got, scored but that goal is coming for Chooks and I'm so I'm so looking forward to him when he scores um, then obviously about 65 minutes 5 minutes after Alfie May comes on we win a penalty now I have no idea what the hell are their keepers doing? <laughs> um, he comes r- rushing out, take, uh, takes that car in the box, clear penalty. Um, arguments could have been said. Could he have been sent off potentially? I don't know. Um, but either way, Alfie May stepped up, scored his goal um, to end his goal drought, which I'm praying now this kind of wakes a monster up inside of him and kind of gives him that confidence to go on and keep scoring goals obviously he scored 21 goals if i'm not mistaken 22 goals maybe um this year for for us and we all know how important those goals are um so it isn't it's nice to see his um name back on the score sheet obviously it's big boost for him big boost for us um and then we kind of just got going if you like um i i was obviously watching Sky Sports news um, from home. So I didn't actually see the game, um, but obviously I saw the highlights and everything like that. And from Alfie's goal, we seem to be the better team. Um, we seem to be on the front foot, was right, right, right back into the game. And then 80th minute came, or comes along. Uh, I think Connor Coventry gives the ball to Chooks. Chooks passes it through to Kanu. Brilliant save, by the way, from the keeper, first of all. But then, Karoy Zidane Anderson scores an absolute corker of, of a goal. Like, he, he literally just slaps it, as he said in the um, interview after the game. And it goes top corner in the, in the net, 2-1 Charlton against Derby of all bloody teams. And honestly, it was incredible. Honestly... The last few games, um, as a Charlton fan, have been incredible. Obviously, we saw the game out the, oh, I admit the uh, eight minutes added on uh, after the 90th minute was were the longest, um, longest ninety uh, ninety minutes, eight minutes of my life. I thought there's there's no way that we hold on to this. There's no way we do everything like that, but. We held out, and we got our first win in 16 games, as I've said many times. Now, obviously wins are good. Um, everything else went our way last night, pretty much. Wickham beat Charlton 2-0. Uh, Wigan obviously beat Bolton. That helps the top of the table. Um, Port Vale bottled a two-goal de- two-nil, two-nil lead to uh, Fleetwood. Jaden Stockley, they uh, headmaster, if you like, um, for Charlton. Obviously... He uh, scored uh, two goals in the 90-plus minute. I think it was 92 and 95, potentially. Um, but And obviously, Carl Arby Burton as well. So that obviously helps us. Shrewsbury also lost to uh, Lincoln. So it is a big boost. It, it pushes us up to 19th. Obviously, Reading lost two points yesterday as well. So as much as uh, my thoughts and prayers on it are, are there for them, it does help us, and we will take whatever it takes to stay in this league. Um, so that now puts us on 37 points. Um, we are four points from the drop zone, which is a big, big uh, positive. Uh, we are three points from 15th, and if you think about it, that's that's actually not that, that bad. I think we might have a bare goal difference, potentially. I'm not sure. So if, obviously, we beat West, uh, Northampton and all that stuff, we can actually go up. Um, now, obviously, the next couple games are very, very vital, if you like, because on Saturday, um, we have to beat Northampton. And obviously, it's all well and good getting results against the top three. Five points against top three, back to back to back to back, is incredible. Um, and if if you consider the form that we've been on uh, and w- what we've been through this season... Um, you wouldn't believe that. 3-3 against Bolton, 0-0 against Portsmouth, a 
clean sheet, by the way, against Portsmouth uh, for the first time in 22 games, as you saw from the title. And now the next game we've won. Um, obviously, we are now on a four game on beta run, which is quite mad to, to say, quite mad to think. Um, but obviously, as I say, that's all well and good. But we need to keep that up against teams around us now. We need to keep scoring goals, keep the fighting spirit, which Nathan Jones has somehow pulled from thin air um, within the team that we have. And it just kind of proves and shows that we've always had that uh, with us. Um, Appleton probably should have gone, well, no, not probably, should have gone weeks ago, uh, months ago. He probably should have gone Boxing Day at the very minimum. Um, and maybe we might have been in a different position. Who knows? But as I say, it's a very positive. It's a very big positive, and obviously we'll speak about that tonight on the live stream. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm not going to dwell on too many negatives because that's. I, I feel I feel like I've done too many negatives on this channel this season for a lifetime. <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously it's a big, big uh, positive, big push up the table for us. Big reaction if you like because if you saw on twitter last night the amount of positivity on the timeline was unbelievable and i can't remember the last time i saw a child on timeline like that um I, that i think kind of proves how much the fans needed that and wanted that um so a, a, anyone saying that, that the fans are the issue uh unfortunately you are wrong <laughs> um all every child fan wants the same thing they all want us to do well they all want the players they all want the clubs to do well and get back to where it belongs so obviously it is again as i say a very very good win it's a uh, side who we don't have a great record against obviously apart from the championship games but anyways um i hope you guys did enjoy obviously this is kind of a uh, uncut thing so apologies i'm on my laptop but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy Let's try and smash 15 likes in this video. As always, that's kind of the same goal every week. Um, we are 68 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers, which is insane. I never thought I'd get to this point. <laughs> um, I, I know I always bang on about it, but genuine, just thank you for everything. Um, it means it means a lot. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, make sure you obviously leave a like, comment down below what different types of videos you want to see apart from the vlogs. Um, obviously, I'm not going to Northampton. I was literally about to book the tickets and they sold out. So unfortunately, I won't be there, but there'll be another match reaction as always. Uh, instead, obviously, the, the weekend I'll be at Watford with the women. So make sure you get down to Wheelstone. Uh, I think that's where they're playing. Um, so make sure you get down, get behind them. Obviously, they are uh, on the verge of getting promoted as well. We need to, just need to keep winning. So yeah, as I said, again, I hope you guys did enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until next time, 